North Star serving as doing so will be Emily Laterna. Serves across and gets a third to Lindy Johnson. Cardinals will set up right away. Abby Broughton, uh, Abby with a shot to the back row. It's to be bumped around and it's in for a kill. As Abby Broughton will get the first kill of the match. And it'll be one to nothing Langdon is serving now be Julie Dinius. Dinius the good serve down the left side. To be taken by Heisler, and then well, he's spiked by Jessica Tuber. Time to dig that out as Dinius in the back row. They get it to Brock, and her spike is going to be stuck at the net by Tuber. Jessica Tuber, the stuff block for North Star. And a serve now for Jessica Tuber. That's going to go over the net. It's an unforced error here against the Bearcats, and Langdon now will get the serve back, leading 2-1. to one. Abby Broughton back to serve now for the Cardinals. Mackenzie Hart goes to the net. As Broughton to serve down the right side, it's going to be wide and out of bounds. Cardinals have had trouble with their serving in this tournament, so we've been told. And they miss a serve there to make it tied at two. It's Heisler now to serve here for the Bearcats. And she'll serve into the net. Just let me see that each team having trouble serving. Rachel Crum now to serve one of the three seniors on this Cardinals team. And she will serve here for Langdon. Again, three to two now. The Cardinals take a one-point lead. Yeah, as a serve in the back row, bumped up close to them here by the Bearcats, and they are going to set up Hagler, and Hagler with a spike, and that was going to be bumped out of bounds. It was a net violation anyway against the Cardinals, and Hagler with their first kill of the match. Tied at three. Yeah, the serve down for Michelle Holy. That's put in the back row, and it's put to Broughton as they should bump it up too close to the net to Downs, and her spike is going to be blocked at the net by Hagler to make it four to three Bearcats. Serve taken by the Cardinals as they set up a spike over the right left side for Lindy Johnson. That's going to be out of bounds. Both teams have two unforced errors now, and it's five to three Bearcats. Another serve by Holine, handled by Dinius to Lindy Johnson. They set up a back row spike here for Hart. That's her first real chance tonight, and that's taken by Holine. They set up Hagler. She can only push it across, and that's going to be way out of bounds, but Crumby didn't know where she was out of the court, and Rachel decided to try to go for it and bumped it out of bounds. That's going to be a kill for Hagler, but really it should, been a, should be an unforced error there against the Cardinals. So to make it 6-3, is Helene and the serve that's taken by Broughton. As they'll set up Hart now with a hammer one, and that's going to be dug up nicely over by Helene. She dies to dig it out, and they'll tip it back to her, and she'll knock it over on the third hit. They're going to set up Hart again over the Cardinals, so he winds up again, and this time it's going to hit the net, but it's going to be a net violation. It was blocked by Hagler, but they're going to call her for a net violation. And that will be the third unforced error against the Bearcats. And the Cardinals will get a point back now to trail here 6-4 to four, as Mackenzie Hart to serve now for Langdon. It's hard to get serve over. Didn't try the jump serve. As the uh, Bearcats will get it back across. Cardinals set up a back row spike for Hart. That's going to be bumped into the net by Hart. It's going to be a spike and kill indeed for Mackenzie Hart. That will be her first one of the match. 6-5 to five now. Cardinals back to the end one. Hard again to serve. That is uh, going to be taken again by the Bearcats as they bump it up close to the net and putting it back across here will be Jenny Swanson, who's into the match now for the Bearcats. Spike of the net by Denny is blocked by Hagler. Denny has it knocked back to her. Don't she get it over the net just in time as they set up Hagler down to the Bearcats. Who's back back to the net by Lindy Johnson? Lindy Johnson gets up to block the freshman Hagler. First stop block of the night for the Cardinals. Ties it at six. Yeah, it's hard a good serve, and now Lipp is going to be called the back row of the Bearcats and serve on the, the Libero. It's an ace for Hart, the first of the Cardinals here tonight. Langdon leads 7-6. to six. Hard another good serve over. That's handled by Swanson, and they'll set up Jenny now left side. Standing spike, and she'll get it across in miscommunication in the front row of the Cardinals. Nobody got to it. Swanson will get a kill, and that'll be her first. And that'll make it tied at 7. Yes, Sarah Hagler now back to serve. Hagler, good serve over. Taken by Broughton, who again bumps it too close to the net. And trying to tip it over was Brenna Downs, and she's blocked to the net by Jessica Tudner. We'll get her second stuff blocked of the night. Eight to seven to score. They're canceling by one. Hagler with the serve across. And by Dinius to Downs. They'll set up Julie Dinius left side. She'll hammer one, and it's just in on the, on the sideline of the end line. As Julie Dinius will get her first kill of the match. Really seen her first action in the front row tonight. 
Tied at eight. Lindy Johnson to serve now for the Cardinals. Is Johnson a good hard serve over? Nicely handled by Hagler in the back row. They'll set up now Jessica Tuber. Cross court spike is in for a kill. Jessica Tuber, first kill of the match. She had 25 last night. The North Stars win over Rolla. <clears throat> Kelsey Tudor now to serve a 5-6 junior. And the serve is going to be handled by Dinius deep in the back row. It's taken out by Downs. And a back row spike suddenly set up for Broughton, but it's long and out of bounds. Reinforced errors against the Cardinals, and the Bearcats now lead 10-8. Another serve here for the Bearcats, and a serve over handled by Dinius to Downs, and now back row standing spike it is here for Hart, it was blocked to the net initially by Tubner, but now put back across, but out of bounds by Holine. So that's an unforced error of the Bearcats to make it 10 to 9. Brenna Downs to serve now for Langdon. Boy, nice crowd on hand for this District 8 tournament championship match. As Downs, a very short serve, just getting to it. It was Jenny Swanson, but it's going to be bumped into the net, an unforced error after that. And the Cardinals will tie it at 10. Brennan Downs to serve once again here. Serve over taken by Hagler. They'll set up Tubner. She'll hammer one, but it's partially blocked, but it's bumped out of bounds anyway. By Brennan Downs, it's a kill for Tubner. And it's 11 to 10, Bearcats. Bearcats will bring back in Emily Laternis. She'll come in, Swanson will come out. As Laternis will serve over, dug out by Hart. They're going to set up Dinius. She'll just pop one over, and it's in over the block for a kill. They faked like they were going to go to Broughton that time, and Dinius came in to make the quick kill, and that'll make tied up at 11. Hart goes back to the net now as Dinius to serve. Dinius to serve across, taken by Kelsey Tubner. They'll set up on the left side a spike there for Holine, but that's going to be blocked to the net, and it's a stuff block for Mackenzie Hart. Her first, 12 to 11, now the Cardinals lead by one. Dinius to serve over. In the back row that goes to Kelsey Tubner. They're going to set up Jessica Tubner. She'll hammer one, and it's a spike partially blocked. And taken by Rachel Crum to Downs, and now a tip shot for Hart. It goes in for a kill. Mackenzie Hart with her second, 13 to 11 Cardinals. Julie Dinius continuing this run, serving for Langdon. And a serve over handled uh, by Hagler, and now a spike track to the lead left side, and that is going to be a spike. That goes into the net. The unforced arrow make it 14-11. Uh, to 11. The Cardinals lead by three. As Denny is to serve across. It's going to be taken by the Bearcats.
So ready to start now is going to be Julie Dinius here for the Cardinals. And a server cross is going to be handled by Kelsey Tubner for the Bearcats. He has uh, set up a uh, spike over left side for Heisler. That's going to be taken out though and put back across there by the Cardinals. And Abby Broughton, Heisler now another spike. It's going to be uh, partially blocked as the Cardinals will set up a finesse shot there for Hart. Bearcats will set up Jessica Tubner. She'll have a run as blocked there by Hart. And she'll get another stuff blocker second of the night. So it's one to nothing Cardinals lead now here in game two. As Julie Dinius ready. He has a server cross taken by Jenny Swanson. As they'll set up Tubner now. Tubner with a spike long and out of bounds. And leg of the leader two to nothing. Again, the Bearcats one game one, 25-18. Leg the leads here two to nothing. As Dinius again to serve. As Dinius to serve across. That's taken by Tubner. As they'll set up Jessica Tubner now. She'll spike one into the net. They'll never enforce there. will make it three to nothing Cardinals. Dinius to serve again. Short serve this time. Nicely saved by Holine. As Tubner will try one again. It's taken to the back row. Dinius will handle it there. To Downs. Now back row spike for Dinius. On the right side handled by Kelsey Tubner. Tipped to the net throw by Holine. That's going to be blocked. And it's a stump block again for Mackenzie Hart to make it 4 to nothing Cardinals here in game two. Trying to serve now. Is Dinius ready to do that? It almost looks like she's got an ankle, like she turned an ankle. And they're going to call a timeout. It goes leading as Hart will serve for the first time. Not sure, uh, well, for the first time definitely here tonight anyway, we'll just say. And she gets a very good serve over. It's almost bumped out of bounds, but it's saved. And that's Danny Spike for two minutes. She'll serve it, spike it into the net. Nine on four stairs now against the Bearcats. Five to nothing Cardinals. It's hard again to serve, and it's another good serve across, taken by Tubner. So set up Jessica Tubner now. She'll get a good spike across, saved by Madison Hart. Too far over the net, though, as it's tipped back by Tubner. Cardinals down. Mackenzie Hart will set up a standing spike for Broughton, and Abby will get that to go down. Abby Broughton, her second kill of the match, and it's 6 to nothing Langdon. It's Maddie Hart again, pressed into service after a slight injury to Julie Dinius. Is hard a short serve taken by two of theirs. They'll set up left side, a spike for Heisler, and that looked like it was going to go out of bounds, but it's saved by Lindy Johnson. And put back over the third hit by Brenda Downs. That's going to be a wide and out. Unforced error number six against the Cardinals. I think that's their first unforced error here in this uh, second game, though. As Laternas now will come in for North Star to serve. Six to one now. Bearcats are on the board here in game two. Yeah, the server cross will be uh, handled by the Cardinals. As Downs going to set up a quick set left side for Hart. Saved in the back row though by Hagler. So set up Heisler. Heisler will spike down the left side to go in. Allie Heisler will get her first kill of the match, I believe. Yeah, it is, indeed it is. And it's going to be 6-2. to two. Bearcats do it in four. Serve across again by Laternus. Laternus to serve, and that's going to be taken by Broughton. Again, bumps it too close to the net, and it's going to be tipped back by Kelsey Tudor. It's saved by Hart. Hart will set up a running spike for Hart, and that's into the net. So 6-3, to three, Bearcats to within three. And another serve over is taken by Hart to Downs. They'll set up Hart left side. She'll hammer one. It's blocked off the net, blocked by Jessica Tudor. Will we get stuff blocked number four of the night. And the Bearcats now, after trailing six to nothing, have run out four straight points to trail by two. Serve again here by Laturtis to Broughton. Out of downs. Another quick spike here for Hart. That's going to be black, partially black. But Hart will get it back over. Is now Tudor set up for a spike. And that's off the block of the card goes in for a kill. Jessica Tudor, her seventh kill of the match. She and Sarah Hagler now each a seven. And it's six to five. The Cardinals' lead is down to one. Serve over is taken by Broughton to Downs. They're going to set up Hart. She'll try to hammer. It's blocked again by Trooper. It's her first up block of the night, or fifth actually of the night. And that's a high stat for any player in an entire match. This is just first, just barely into game two. She's got five blocks. And a serve over, almost bumped out of bounds by Maddie Hart. Gets it over to Kenzie, and it will get, get it across. It'll be Broughton. Their cancel set up Jessica Tubner, and there's Mike in for a kill. Tubner having another good night with eight kills and five blocks now in the, in the match, and it's seven to six Bearcats. 
Jilly Dinius is going to come back in. She got that ankle taped up and looks like she's moving pretty smoothly as she comes out onto the floor. As Laterna's continuing to serve after the Bearcats had ever left seven straight points after the Cardinals had six to start the match. Down's going to set up Hart again, left side. It goes off the uh, block of Holine, but is saved by the Bearcats and tip back across by Jessica Tubner. From now will set up Hart. This time she'll tip it over the block as Holine will try to tip it to one of her teammates. It won't happen. It'll be a kill for Hart or sixth. And we're tied at seven. Cardinals finally get the serve back. So Langdon scored the first six points, then the Bearcats the next seven. Now Langdon finally breaks that streak. We're tied at seven as Abby brought to serve for Langdon. And a serve over is going to be uh, bumped around. Is trying to get over to the third hit as Holine and does so. Now to Denius, now to Downs. They'll set up hard at the center of the net. She'll handle it in for a kill. Good passing that time for the Cardinals, setting up that quick kill for Mackenzie Hart. And it's eight to seven Cardinals. And again, the serve here for Abby Brott. Brought in a hard serve into the back row, handled by Kelsey Tubner. Now to Jessica Tubner, her spike. Bumped by Downs, and now saved by Crum, and now standing spike to the back row for Brott and gets it across. Bearcats will set up left side, and it's a spike for Heisler. It goes long and out of bounds with that. Ten enforced errors against the Bearcats. Cardinals now a two-point lead, 9-7. Bearcats lead the match, though. One game to none. They won the first game 25-18. As brought into the serve, and that looks like it is just wide of the sideline. Very close there, but they do call it just out. So a missed serve, the eighth unforced error against the Cardinals, and it's 9-8 now. The Cardinals lead down to one. And serving is Jessica Tubner. Let's get it in now. Going to be brought and they're pushing it back over will be Hart. And now a lift is called against the Bearcats. Trying to answer that. That'll make it 10 to 8. Cardinals by two as Rachel Crum to serve now for Langdon. Crum to serve and Kelsey Tubner now will dig that out. They'll set up. Hagler over left side. That's going to be uh, taken by Broughton to Downs. Back set right side to Hart, who pushes it into the back row. It's handled by Sherbra. And put back over by Heisler on the spike. Diving dig there that time by Lindy Johnson. The Cardinals will set up Hart again. She can, can't get much on that, though. So a chance now for the Bearcats and Hagler for the spike. Taken by Broughton to Downs. Now to Lindy Johnson and Johnson to the spike. Put right back over by Kelsey Tubner. To Hart to Downs. Back to Hart. And she'll try to tip in on the sideline. Eight kills for Mackenzie Hart, and it's 11 to 8. Cardinals lead by three. It's Rachel Crum to serve again uh, to Shervra, and it's going to be a uh, spike actually set up here for Heisler. That spike dug out by Hart to Downs. The, the set goes too close to the net, and it's going to be end up being blocked easily there by Kelsey, by, excuse me, by Michelle Holy. 11-9, Bearcats to within two. Heisler now to serve, as that serve is going to be wide and out of bounds. 12 and four stairs now, the Bearcats compared to eight for the Cardinals. And it is going to be Mackenzie Hart back to serve now for Langdon. Hart, good serve over the right side. Kelsey Tudor will have that. They'll set, now, they'll set up Hagler now, spike block. And it's a block for Lindy Johnson. As it goes in for a point, a stuff block, I guess they call that. We had that conversation earlier. You can't really call it a stuff block unless a point comes out of it. So a point does go for the Cardinals. They lead by 4-13-9. It's Hart to serve again. And it's bumped out of bounds. It's an ace for Mackenzie Hart. Langdon, well, actually each team with only two service aces tonight. Hart has both of them for Langdon. Michelle Holine has both of them for North Star. 14-9 Cardinals here in game two. Hart the serve over, dug out by Laternus. As they're going to set up left side, Kelsey Tudor, show number one. It's taken though by Hart as they set up Johnson and Lindy Johnson on the spike. Great diving dig to save that by Heisler. And it's put back across by Kelsey Tudor. As the Cardinals will set up Dinius now. Dinius with a finesse serve, and that is going to be bumped out of bounds. Julie Dinius will get a kill. To make it 15 to 9, Cardinals, and the Bearcats want a timeout. I will let's see bank.com. Good luck to all area teams. Bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Right up a timeout, Hart to serve, and she's going to serve one off to the side of her hand and out of bounds. Nine unforced errors against the Cardinals. 15 to 10 now, Bearcats to within five. There's North Star to serve, and to do so will be Michelle Holine. 
lead of the serve just over the net. That goes nicely saved by Broughton. As the Cardinals will set up Dinius. And Dinius will serve to the back row to Heisler. And it's punched back across by Holine, but I think they're going to call her for a violation at the net. Yeah, that'll give the Cardinals a point to make it 16 to 10. Lines are leading by six. Cardinals trying to even the match in a game apiece after North Star won game one, 25-18. Flinty Johnson now to serve over. It's Tudor. Just leaves down far enough to get that uh, back across. Now it's taken by Dinius. And it looks like a net violation or a violation of some sort is going to be called here against the Bearcats. And it's going to make it 17 to 10 Cardinals. Lindy Johnson continuing on serve here for Langdon. And a good serve over taken by Kelsey Tubner. They'll set up Hagler and Sarah's spiked a good one over the right side. Hagler's first kill of this match, but it gives her eight or of this game, excuse me, after now eight for the match, 17 to 11. Cardinals lead down to six. Is now Sarah Hagler back to serve on the right side. That's taken by Broughton to down. So set up Abby Broughton left side. Cross court spike. Partially blocked and now taken by Heisler. So set up Kelsey Tudor. Tries to tip it over the net, but tips it right into it. Going to be an unforced error to give the Cardinals an 18 to 11 lead. He's printed down a silver cross. <coughs> Ready to serve it as Brenna, and she does get it over the net. It's taken there by Heisler to Holine, and now pushed across by Hagler. So the Cardinals the opportunity. Now lift those can be called on Mackenzie Hart. As she tried to pass it over to Brenna Downs. Ten unforced errors against the Cardinals. Langdon's lead kept to six at 18 to 12. And Kelsey Tubner to serve, but she'll serve it into the net. Unforced error number 15. Dinius to serve over left side as Kelsey Tugner that now is uh, with it is going to be Jessica Tugner and Tugner a spike blocked by Broughton. Abby Broughton with a stuff block to make it 20 to 12 Cardinals. As Dinius again to serve. Julius served down the center of the net. That's going to be an ace as it's pumped out of bounds. That's really the first ace we've seen since very early in this game, too. There haven't been a lot of service aces. Both uh, teams serve received have just been awesome tonight. 21 to 12 Cardinals. Here's Denise to serve over. Handled by Kelsey Tugner. They'll set up Heisler. Heisler a cross court spike. Taken by Broughton to Downs. Now to Hart. Hart with a tip shot. It's uh, saved by Swanson and now pushed over by Hagler. Cardinals. Dinius to Downs. They set up Broughton for a standing spike. That's handled easily by Kelsey Tubner. They'll set up Jessica Tubner. Center of the net. That's going to be partially blocked. Cardinals save it. And they push it back over with Rachel Crumb. Great defense by Langdon. There's the Bearcats now. Just getting it back over to be Heisler. And she was not wasn't sure if she wanted to, they wanted her to take it or somebody else. She's called. Check out the new construction defense. Facilities are being built for your ease of use and to help your bottom line. It's never too early to plan for next year's crop. Fall fertilizer is upon us after a great harvest season. Talk to the agronomy professionals for dry and liquid fertilizer for fall and spring. Like in great prices for this year and next by talking to the marketing professionals. And check out their Facebook page or website for prices and marketing insights. The Austin Rock Farmers Co-op Elevator. All right, folks, after a timeout, Jessica Tudor had a big killer for the Bearcats. Now a big spike for Hart off the Bearcat serve. is going to be knocked around, and the Bearcats get it over, but the Cardinals will bump that, get it above as Dinius. Nobody takes it from there. So two quick points to what we're trying to save for the Bearcats, and it makes it 22 to 14. As serving here is Laturnus, a serve across taken by Dinius, and now it comes to Hart. Hart with a tip shot, and... They're just getting it over, so they need to keep it alive now. A spike and a kill for Heisler. Ali Heisler will get one to go down. Their second kill of the match, 22-15. Long road here for the Bearcats, and they trail by 10 at one point, but they're back to within seven after three straight points, and they'll serve again here with Laternus. Laternus served just over the net. It's almost bumped out by Dinius, but saved by Broughton. And now a spike for Hart. Hart puts it in the back row to Kelsey Tubner. Bearcats set up Jessica Tubner. Her spike dug out by Downs, and now a net violation by somebody right at the net on Mackenzie Hart. It is. That violation of the Cardinals, so now it's four straight points to the Bearcats, and they're to within 22-16. Laternus again to serve over. That's taken by Broughton. Now they'll set up a running spike for Hart, and that's off the block of Tudor in for a kill. That's where the Cardinals obviously go when they need a point, is to number 12. They're 
school record leader in kills and in digs in just about every category you can imagine. 23 to 16. As Abby Broughton now to serve. As a serve across, pumped out of bounds, it's an ace. For Broughton, her first, team's fourth, and it's game point now for Langdon. They lead 24-16. As they try to tie the match here at a game apiece. Broughton ready, good, hard serve across, and that's almost pumped out of bounds. Let's saves it, though, and Jessica Tudor will get it across to keep it alive. Cardinals now down, sets up Lindy Johnson. Johnson to the spike, saved by Hagler. Left side to Heisler, and Heisler to the spike, it's long and out of bounds. Brock tried to dive for that. Didn't need to as it goes very long and out of bounds, and that will do it for game two. You can call that country farm credit services at 256-2553. All right, folks, here we go. Just starting game three. North Star serving. The Cardinals re re serve receive here as Abby brought in a spike, bumped off the ceiling here, but put back across by the Bearcats. Cardinals now will set up Dinius, who just kind of tips it across, and the Bearcats converge defensively and get it back over here with Heisler. That's uh, saved by Hart. Now to Broughton as Abby Broughton gets back down the left side. As like Huleen thought she was going to do the angle, but she went right down the line and gets a kill, her third. And it's one to nothing legged in here in game three. Obviously, this is a pretty big game in a five-game match, but it's tied at one, which it is, here between Langdon and North Star. And as the serve over is going to be handled by the Bearcats, and a spike by Holine, blocked at the net by Hart, but it ends up on the Langdon side, but it's put right back in by Abby Brock, and we get her fourth kill of the match. Dinius the serve once again here for the Cardinals. As the serve over handled by Kelsey Tubner. Now to Holine and Holine with a tip shot. Oh, she finessed it too much and put it into the net. Three to nothing Cardinals. In game two, Langdon scored the first six points of that game, only to see Nordstar come back and score the next seven. There's Dinius with the serve over. It's taken by Hagler in the back row. They'll set up Jessica Tubner. Her spike is going to be wide and out of bounds. Was that tipped? No, it was not. Yeah, make it four to nothing Cardinals. Dinius to the server cross that's taken by Kelsey Tubner. Oh, the Bearcats can only bump it over on a three ball though, so the Cardinals will get a quick center and a harder puts off the block of Tubner in for a kill. Ten kills now for Mackenzie Hart that now leads all players. Jessica Tubner leads the Bearcats with nine. Five to nothing Cardinals. Again, a serve for Dinius. Yeah, it is bumped up by Kelsey Tubner. Tipped into the net by Laternus. I don't know if you call that an ace or an error. Or what do you call that? You call it an ace there for Julie Dinius. Six to nothing Cardinals. Again, they did the same thing in game two, but the Bearcats came right back. We'll see what happens now. It's an ace. It'll happen again for Dinius. They make it seven to nothing. Langdon in the business store in Langdon. Farmers Union Oil P Store on Highway 1 South. Lots of pumps, too, because when you've got to gas and go, you got to know Farmers Union Oil P Store is where to go. All right, folks, as we come out of the timeout, Langdon serving and Northstar receiving, and the spike goes wide and out of bounds. Well, that's going to be 20 unforced errors now against Northstar. Langdon boosts their lead to eight to nothing. Denny is again a good serve. And that's almost bumped out of bounds, but it's saved by the Bearcats and Heisler, put back across by North Star. Downs now will set up Hart, and she'll get a finesse tip shot in, as that's nicely uh, saved diving. Uh, to get that was Laternus put back across again by North Star. And now the Cardinals trying to get it back over in the third hit here. And it is pushed back across by Downs. Bearcats will set up the center of the net. Tubner and Jess will get one to go in. Jessica Tubner with her 10th kill of the match, 8-1. to one. Bearcats get on the board here in game three, and now they'll finally get the serve their way as Tubner back to do that. Get this match tied at a game of peace as Tubner a serve across handled by Dinius. As it's put back over by Crum on a three ball, so a chance now for the Bearcats. Laternus, oh, well, I don't know who she's trying to set up there. I think Kelsey Tubner, she could only bump it across. Cardinals get a quick set here for Harder, tips it around the block of Hagler, and it goes in for a kill. 11 kills for Mackenzie Hart. And it makes it nine to one Cardinals. As Broughton uh, with a uh, serve over, and that is gonna be a lift call on Mariah Sherbra. Trying to respond to that as Abby Broughton will get an ace, 10 to one Cardinals here in game three. Indeed we are in game three. Broughton now will serve once again. 
And a serve that's taken by Heisler to Laternus. Pushed back across by Hagler. Who's taken there by Dinius. Cardinals will set up Hart and she'll hammer one in for a kill. Mackenzie Hart really beginning to heat up. Is brought and ready to go. As they serve across, can be handled by Heisler. Now standing spike, and a lift is going to be called. Heisler got it across. The lift is called on, uh, indeed, on Mackenzie Hart. 12 unforced errors against the Cardinals. And it's 11 to 2 now. Cardinals lead down to 9 here in game 3. Is serving is Allie Heisler. And a serve across, just saved there by Dinius. To Downs, how they set up Hart left side, but their spike is into the net. And an unforced error to give a point back. Uh, here to the uh, Bearcats, they trail 11 to 3. And a serve across again as he's taken this time by Broughton. Now to Hart, and Hart with a spike and a kill. Mackenzie Hart with 13 kills in the match. 12 to 3, Cardinals lead by 9. He has a serve over. Put up, indeed, by Kelsey Tudor. Pushed back across by Hagler to serve receive. Cardinals now set up center of the net to Hart, and Hart with another spike and kill. That'll make it 13 to 3. Cardinals up by 10. Rachel Crum to serve for Langdon. Taken by Kelsey Tubner. Here's they'll set up now. Kelsey left side, and Kelsey Spike is blocked to the net by Hart. Four blocks for Mackenzie Hart now. Stop blocks to go with their 14 kills tonight. And it's 14 to 3 Langdon here in game three. Down to serve, and that's in the back row taken by Shervra, and it's going to be uh, now set up for Hagler for a spike, and that's going to be blocked out of bounds. Sarah Hagler with their ninth kill. As Jenny Swanson will check back in now for the Bearcats coming off will be Laternus, and ready to serve here will be Holine. Michelle Holine, a good serve down the right side, taken by Dinius to Downs, back side over right side will go to Hart, and Hart the cross court spike in for a kill. 15 kills now for Hart, 15 to four the score. And it looks like the Cardinals will bring in to see some action here. Brittany Fetch, a 5'6 sophomore. She'll come in as Rachel Crum will come off. It's Mackenzie Hart to serve. Hart to serve over, taken by Heisler. So set up Hagler, and Hagler with a spike. And I'm like, it looked like must have been blocked to the net and just getting it back across here would be Kelsey Tudner. Great defense there by the Bearcats. As a spike by Dinius now blocked at the net. Now Downs will tip it over. As Holine trying to set up Hagler, she can only tip it across. Cardinals trying to put it back with Dinius, but she'll spike it into the net. 14 unforced errors against the Cardinals. 15 to five now the score. Bearcats joining by 10. Again, this uh, match tied in a game apiece. Hagler now back to serve as a serve will be handled by Broughton to tip back across by Dinius. And now there's going to be a net violation called on Jenny Swanson trying to block that shot of Julie Dinius. Makes it 16 to five Cardinals. Again, North Star won game one tonight, 25-18. Langdon won game two, 25-16. And the Cardinals lead game three here, 16 to five. It's Lindy Johnson to the server cross. Coming to Kelsey Tubner and Tubner is it not great back to her and Kelsey will get a, a spike to go in. Kelsey Tubner, her first kill of the match. Makes it 16 to six, Bearcats trailing by 10 as Tubner now back to serve. And Tubner the server cross, that's taken by Dinius to Downs. Left side, they're gonna set up Broughton and Broughton with a spike off the net and in for a kill. Five for Broughton, 17 to six, Langdon. Brenda Downs to serve now the center for the Cardinals. And a serve bumped around, and uh, now a spike for Tubner. Saved by Brennan Downs. Now standing spike left side for Broughton is going to be just long and out. 17 to 7. Down to the 10 point leader for the Cardinals now. As North Star to serve is serving again, Abila Turnus. As a tip there by Downs, it looks like she is going to be caught for a net violation there. She tried to tip a shot over. Another point there for the Bearcats. They've got the lead down to single digits now at 9, 17 to 8. Yeah. 
And a serve over, handled by the Cardinals. As with it is going to be Brittany Fetcher, their first spike attempt of the night. Almost bumped out of bounds. Let's say by the Bearcats and put over by Jessica Tugner. Cardinals now downs to Broughton and Broughton the cross court spike in on the sideline. That's her sixth kill of the match. As Denny is now to serve. As Denny is to serve and a lift is going to be called on Heisler. Boy, Denny has got that serve working now. She has three aces in this game and four on the night. 19 to 8, Cardinals lead by 11. Denius again, the nice serve, and a lift caught on Kelsey Tuber this time. Five aces for Denius. 20 to 8, Cardinals are five points away from taking a lead in the match. Another serve across this is handled nicely by Heisler. As Holine will spike it, cross court spike is going to be knocked into the net by Broughton. And they make it 20 to 9 the score. Jessica Tudor now back to serve. Jess gets at it across where it's taken by the Cardinals and Hart. As Hart will tip a shot taken by Heisler. They'll now set up Hagler with the Bearcats. And a spike can go in. Four kill. Ten kills for Sarah Hagler. Makes it 20 to 10. Bearcats do it in 10. Whenever the conclusion of this match happens in our postgame show, we're going to bring in the all-district team. Senior Athlete of the Year and Coach of the Year for District 8 as well. It's in our post-game show, so stay tuned for that. After this match is complete, as they are set up and receive, serve received there, and they set up Abby Brock to the Cardinals. She'll get a spike and kill to make it 21 to 10. Of course, we're a long ways away from getting to that post-game. We just want to make sure you're aware of it. We're just in game three. You know, the match tied at a game apiece. 21 to 10, Langdon. Brought now to serve. And brought to the serve, goes too far over the net. Tipped back in by Brittany Fetch. Bearcats will save it though as they get a spike by Hagler and that is going to be long and out of bounds. So an enforced error. And the Cardinals will serve once again here now as serving uh, will be Abby Broughton. Broughton to serve, just clips the top of the net, it goes across. Bearcats now set up Hagler left side and a big spike and kill for Sarah Hagler, 11. 22 to 11, Cardinals by 11 as the Bearcats now still trying to come back here, but Heisler will serve. Heisler will serve across, taking by Denius to Downs, and now it comes to Hart. And she tips one across. Now Hagler will come back and try to handle one. The left side is going to be out. The right left, and it is going to be a point for the Cardinals, make it 23 to 11. As Brittany Fetch the serve, and that goes in the back row as Sherbra just getting that uh, bumped up to the net and pushing it back across to be Laternus. Cardinals now quick set, it goes for Hart. Which has to give it around the block of Hagler. Here they say that easily now. Hagler tries a shot of the net, that's blocked by Hart, and that'll be her fifth stuff block of the match. 24 to 11, game point time for the Cardinals here in game three. Serving for it will be Brittany Fetch. Fetch the serve as the Bearcats will get a spike here from Hagler. That's in just in on the sideline uh, for a kill there. 12 kills for Hagler, and the Bearcats save one game point, but they've got a lot more of them to be saved here as they, they trail 24 to 12. Is ready to serve now, be the Bearcats. And serving this whole lane. Serve comes to Broughton, who bumps it up. They try to get it to Hart, so the set goes a little wide. She can only tip it across. So the Bearcats will get it now to Tugner. Her spike dug out, tipped over by Downs. As the Bearcats will, tip, will push it back across here with Kelsey Tugner. The lift is called to the back row on Broughton. Abby Broughton called for a lift to make it 24 to 13 as the Bearcats save another game point. They still have a, a long comeback to go here, but they continue working as Pauline will get a serve over, taken by Dinius. And now a back row spike set up for Denius. It's handled by Kelsey Tubner. Over to Hagler. And Hagler, they uh, push shot in the lift. They'll be caught again on Broughton. Another unforced error on the card. Goes 24 to 14. Bearcats to within 10. So Lane, a good serve over. Taken by Denius. She bumps it too close to the net. That's going to be an ace. Uh, for Michelle Holine. She has all of the aces tonight. Uh, for Star at 3. 24-15. 
Well, into the serve over, that's uh, taken on Rotten to Downs. They set up Hart Show. Hammer one, it's in for a kill. And that'll be that for game number three. The Cardinals over North Star here in this District 8 Girls Volleyball Championship. Cardinals serving as North Star receives and puts it across. Cardinals now trying to answer as they set up Mackenzie Hart. And she'll get a tip over the block. It's taken by Swanson. And now Tubner trying to get a spike for the back row and puts that under the net. 24 unforced errors now here against the Bearcats. That compares to 18 for the Cardinals. As Denius of another, another serve over, excuse me. As this time they'll set up Tubner. Their spike is partially blocked. And now miscommunication in the back row by the Cardinals. So nobody gets that. It'll be a, it'll be a kill though for Jess Tubner. And it'll be tied at one here in game four. Bearcats obviously trying to win this and push it to a game five. Cardinals with a win here in game four would uh, win the match. As Laterna, so they uh, serve, and that's going to be wide and out of bounds. And the Cardinals lead here 2-1. to one. Zabby Brock now ready to serve here for Langdon. Brock will serve right into the net. <clears throat> Too low to serve that time for Abby Broughton. Ties it up at 2. As Jessica Tubner now to serve. The Cardinals will get it there. Denius, they set up Hart left side, and she'll try to go down the line, but put it wide left. And that's going to be an unforced error against the Cardinals. They begin to mount up here. Bearcats leading now 3-2. to two. In Game 4 is Tubner ready, and a serve over is taken by Broughton to Downs. They'll set up Hart again, and this time a cross-court spike is in off the hands, actually, of Kelsey Tubner, but in for a kill for Mackenzie Harder. Now has kill number 16, or 17, excuse me. As Rachel coming out of serve with a score tied at three. Crown with a uh, serve over. That's handled by Hagler. And Hagler with a spike that's long it out. Four to three Cardinals. And of the all-district team here uh, coming up after this, uh, in our post-game post -game show here coming up, whenever the conclusion of this match ends. The Cardinals serve as a spike back <coughs> by Holine. Cardinals now get a quick set to Hart, so trying to go, go with an angle. Cross court is dug up by Laternus. As now Hagler will get a spike. If she gets a quick set there, and that's going to be a spike and kill. Sarah Hagler leading the Bearcats at 13 kills tonight. Tied at four. Yeah, serving is Heisler. Alley of the serve that's going to go too close to that. Just tipping it over in the last moment. Those Brenna Downs, and it works as it's knocked up by the Bearcats. That's going to be a rare kill for Brenna Downs. Her first of the night, 5-4 to four now. Cardinals lead by one as Hart back to serve. She hasn't tried the jump serve all night. As Mackenzie Hart doesn't look like she's going to now either. And as a serve over is handled by Heisler. Yeah, trying to push it back over as Holine does so. Now a chance for the Cardinals as Crum sets up Dinius. Her tip shot, though, just goes off the block of Hagler on the Bearcat side. Now they'll set up Sarah. She'll get it in for that shot that goes in for a kill. Nicely done there by Sarah Hagler. Changing, fixing speeds there a little bit. Tied in at five. Yes, Holine now to serve here for North Star. North Star to serve over down the right side, taken by Dinius to Downs. They set up a back row spike here for Hart. Let's take it easily though by Heisler. Now they'll set up Hagler again. Hagler spiked this time, blocked and blocked out of bounds. It's going to be a stuff block for Julie Dinius. Her first of the night, six to five Cardinals. As Lindy Johnson out of serve here for Langdon. Is Lindy Johnson to serve, and a high serve across the net is taken by Heisler, uh, Heisler, excuse me. And now it's Hagler trying that finesse shot again that worked so well for a moment ago. This time Johnson digs it out. Now the Cardinals get it back. Has brought with a tip shot across as Sherman tries to push it from the back row and cannot do it. It'll be a little miscommunication there and an unforced error on North Star. The Cardinals lead by two now. It's seven to five. Langdon leads the match two games to one. They lost game one. They've won the last two. Lindy Johnson again to serve over, and that is going to be in for an ace. Nobody goes after that. Looks like Sherber had to bounce off the floor and hit it right in the nose. She looks like she's okay, though. And let's see. For Lindy Johnson, her first ace of the match, and the Cardinals lead 8-5. to five. And a serve over. Jenny Swanson will uh, get the uh, serve, and now the... Will, will save the, uh, with the dig, I should say, and Hagler, they set her up for the spike. Yeah, that'll be the spike and the kill, and that's her 15th. She'll go back down to serve here for the Bearcats. Cardinals lead 8-6 to six here in game four. So Hagler to serve. 
And Hagler to serve over. Diamond to dig that up. Put it right back across his brought. An opportunity for the Bearcats to set up two nervous. She can only tip it over. As the Cardinals will set up a back set right side for Dinius. She puts it in the back row, taken by Hagler. And tipped back across by Tudner, just getting it across the net. The Cardinals will tip it back with Dinius. Bearcats now, Holine sets up left side, Kelsey Tudner. Her spike taken by Harder. A lift is going to be Colin McKenzie. And that'll be a kill uh, for the Bearcats. Who knows Kelsey Tudner? Anyway, it's going to be 8 to 7. Bearcats. Trail now by one as a serve across. Almost bumped over the net by Rotten. Now bumped over by Downs. Spike by the Bearcats. And it's going to be a, a kill. That ends up being out of bounds. The tie it up at eight. Bearcats will serve as Sarah Hagler continuing here. This is trying to regain the lead here in game four. The Cardinals off a serve. They set up a running spike for Broughton. That's handled by the Bearcats. They set up Tubner and Tubner with a spike. Taken by Hart. Get a back row spike now for Crum. Rachel gets it back across. Bearcats will set up two more again, and the spike is just me wide and out of bounds. Or is it in bounds? Was it in or out? Well, apparently they called it in. Okay, it's going to be nine to eight. Bearcats leading by one. And the serve this time is going to be wide. Uh, served there by Northstar and by Hagler, and that will finally give the uh, serve back to the Cardinals. Score tied at nine. Brenna Downs now to serve. Is Brenner ready to go and he served right into the net. The miss serve will give it back here to North Star. 21 unforced errors against the Cardinals. 28 against the Bearcats is what we have it officially tonight. Bearcats will serve at Kelsey Tuba with her team leading 10 to 9. And the Cardinals are going to be called for out of being out of rotation. And it's another point for the Bearcats to make it 11 to 9 North Star. Kelsey Tubner, the server cross, that's going to be dug out by Dinius. Now back row spike for Hart, partially blocked at the net. Now comes back and Jessica Tubner will get it back over here for the Bearcats. Langdon now sets up Dinius. Dinius, a spike dug out by Kelsey Tubner. They'll set up Jessica Tubner for a tip shot at Black by Broughton. As Abby Broughton, her second stuff block to make it 11 to 10. Cardinals do it in one. As Dinius now back to serve, Hart back at the, back at the net for Langdon. As Dinius to serve over, and it's going to be taken as Jessica Tubner gets the spike, partially blocked, and pushed back across down by Dinius. Bearcats will try it again to Tubner, and Jessica the spike this time blocked to the net by Broughton and Hart. They'll try it again as Tubner this time pushes one over to save by Lindy Johnson. Now to Downs. Now to Broughton, a standing spike from almost the back row. Handled though by the Bearcats as they'll wind one up left side of Heisler, and she'll get one to go in. Allie Heisler the spike and kill. Makes it 12 to 10, Bearcats by two, and North Star with the serve as Emily Laternas comes in to do just that. Laternas to serve over, and bumped up by Hart to Downs. Back to Hart, but Downs is on the set, ended up coming into the net. It's a net violation, and that'll give a point to the Bearcats to make it 13 to 10. Bearcats again trying to push this to a fifth game, which would go to 15. <clears throat> Return us to serve across as Brock will have that, and now nobody can get it from there. That's going to be an ace for Return us. Their first of the match makes it 14 to 10 Bearcats. And a serve over handled by Dinius to Downs. Now they'll set up Hart left side. She'll hammer one, and it's going to be blocked out of bounds. And it's a kill for, for Dinius. Excuse me, kill. Well, are they going to say it was blocked? Maybe it went out for that. And they are going to give a point to the Bearcats here. So that's going to be an unforced error against the Cardinals. They're going to say the spike hit the net and not the block. <coughs> As Laternas now to serve. And a serve across is taken by Dinius to Downs. On the left side, they set up Hart. She's in the back row, though, but her spike gets across, taken by Kelsey Tubner. Now to Jessica Tubner. Her spike blocked at the net, and it goes out wide. And there's some question here on who touched it last. And there's still a question about as they ask the line judges, and nobody's out. I believe they're going to replay the point. They will. There's a jump ball there between... 
Uh, Jessica Tupin, I believe, was Rachel Crum. It ended up out of bounds. Nobody knew who touched the last, so they'll just replay the point. 15 to 10, Bearcats still leading by five. <laughs> As the Cardinals will set up off the serve, they'll set up Hearts for a tip shot, and it goes in for a kill. Almost a collision there, or kind of was a mini collision between Heisler and Maternus on that play. And the volleyball fell right between the two of them. 15 to 11, Cardinals do it in four as Abby Broughton now will serve for Langdon. And a serve over is handled the back row by Kelsey Tudor to Heisler, pushed back over by Holine. Cardinals now, Hart to downs, back to Hart, and she'll pound in, and it's going to be partially blocked by Tudor nicely and saved in the back row. And knocked back across now by Heisler. Cardinals will try hard again, quick set this time. She'll try a tip shot that's taken by Holine to Heisler, and now pushed back across by Jessica Tudor. Diving dig to save it by Broughton. A back row spike by Dinius gets it across for the Cardinals. Their catch will set up Jessica Tudor. She'll pound in, and it's going to be just in on the sideline. And that'll make it 16 to 11. Bearcats by five. Langdon wants a timeout. Cardinals lead the match two games to one. The Eisenbach Farmers Co-op and Auburn made offers in Disney for an up-to-the-minute market price. So to set up Op Farm Grain Hauling, call toll free at 1-800-450-3263. North Central Grain with locations in Disney, Perth, Roulette, and Rock Lake. Right, folks, it's uh, after a timeout. The, the Bearcats of the uh, spike, and they're going to say it was, they were out of bounds, but they, they're going to say a tip. They're going to say it was tipped out of the Cardinals fans, and Rich Olson very upset with the call. But they are going to say a tip, so this is going to, instead of making it 16 to 12, it's now the Bearcats leading 17 to 11. Off the uh, tip called by one of the line judges here. <clears throat> it's Jessica Tubner now to serve. Rotten with the, uh, they set up Hart, and Hart will spike and a kill left side. So Mackenzie Hart now with kill number 18. And it's 17 to 12, Cardinals do it in five as Rachel come back to serve now. It's come to serve across, Bearcats it over left side. And a serve over as we knocked around and just put over in the third hit by the Cardinals and Hearts. So now the Bearcats at the chance. They set up Hagler. Hagler with a spike. Blocked at the net. Put over by Hart. And Silver now has it. As they get it over with Heisler. Just gets it over on the third hit. Cardinals a quick set now for Hart. She'll tip it over the block of Hagler and it's in for a kill. That's kill number 20. I think we miscounted earlier. 20 kills now for Mackenzie Hart. 17 to 13. Cardinals to then four. From again the serve. In the back row it goes. Kelsey Tudner getting it as they can only push it back over with Hagler. Cardinals a quick set for Hart once again and she'll try another tip shot. That's going to be tipped right back to her though by Hagler. Cardinals will try it again as Hart this time will uh, drop the hammer on that but it's going to be nicely dug out by Shurbra. Cardinals will tip it over at Downs. Bearcats now set up Hagler. Her spike blocked. Back over to the Bearcats side. They'll try Hagler again. She'll try another one. It's in for a kill. Around the block of Lindy Johnson. That'll make it 18 to 13. Bearcat lead at five. And back to serve now is going to be Allie Heisler. Heisler, the serve right side. Almost went out, but didn't just want to take a chance. So the Cardinals set up a back row spike to Harder. Just hits it under the net. 19 to 13. Bearcats by six. Heisler to serve, and that's uh, coming to Dinius. As a back set up the right side goes to Hart. Yeah, Hart with a spike partially blocked. It's handled by Laternus. Now a spike for Hagler, and it's in for a kill. 17 kills for Sarah Hagler. 20 to 13, Bearcats by seven, as they try to push this to a game five tonight here from Kandu. So Bearcats will serve again. That's taken by Hart. They'll set up McKenzie now. She'll spike right into the net. Unforced error, number 25 for the Cardinals. And Langdon wants a timeout. Back to all area teams from our Let's Stay Bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. All right, folks, off a timeout. North Star leading Langdon here in game four, 21-13. Bearcats serving, Cardinals spiking with McKenzie Hart. And that is going to be partially blocked at the net. Might even hit the net and tip back the cross by Heisler. It goes just over and in for a kill. Allie Heisler with a fortunate kill as she smiles as she goes back to serve here. The Bearcats leading 22 to 13. And the server cross is taken by Broughton to Downs. Right side, they'll set up Hart. She can only get a standing spike, though. And that's going to be taken away by Laternus. Yes, now it's Hagler. Hagler with a spike. It goes high in the air, knocked back across by Hart. 
Bearcats will try a set on the right side, but it's going to fall in between Kelsey Tudor and Heisler, and that'll be an enforced error against the, the Bearcats. As the Cardinals now to serve here with Mackenzie Hart, Cardinals trailing 22 to 14. Hart serves over to Heisler. Bearcats now set up Hagler, and Hagler will get a spike in for a kill on the left side line. 18 kills for Hagler. And it's 23 to 14 now. It's Bearcats two points away from pushing this to a decisive game five. He's back to service, Holene. Helene to the serve, taken by Denius to Downs, back to Julie Denius. She'll hammer one, and that is going to be dug out and four across the net by Heisler. Wendy Johnson wasn't expecting it, and it hit her on the right shoulder, so was even looking at that. Great dig by Heisler to get her fifth kill of the match. And now it's game point here for the Bearcats. And the server cross, Hart will take that to Downs, now to Denius. Denius to the server cross, hits the net, taken by Kelsey Tudor. Now they set up Hagler. Hagler with a spike miss hit, and it goes wide and out of bounds. 24 to 15, Cardinals trailing by nine, but again, they lead the match two games to one. As Lindy Johnson to serve over. That's taken by Kelsey Tubner. Bearcats now set up Hagler, here it goes, and the spike is wide and out again. 24 to 16, Cardinals do it in eight. Lindy Johnson continuing to serve here for Langdon. Johnson to serve, deep into the back row, that goes, taken up by Sherbrum. Left side to set up Swanson, Swanson to the spike, taken by Hart, close to the net. Downs now will set up Broughton, and Broughton to the spike of the kill. Eight kills for Abby Broughton, 24-17. Cardinals still again, a long road to home, but they're back to it in seven, and now the Bearcats want a timeout with 30. Is ready to go is Lindy Johnson again after the Bearcat timeout. And a good serve down the right side, handled by Swanson to Holine. They'll set up uh, Hagler, and Hagler in the spike. In for the kill, just on the end line. 19 kills for Sarah Hagler. The Bearcats will push this to a game five. That done here. And a good light serve across that's taken by Hart. As the Cardinals will set up Broughton, and Broughton with a spike. That's almost bumped out of bounds. Trying to save it as two there. Now Laterna's trying to get it across. It just does. Great defense by the Bearcats. Cardinals will now set up Broughton and show a spike and kill to go in. Boy, what great defense by the Bearcats just to save that point, but Broughton puts it back to the next formation point, and Langdon leads one to nothing. Denius now to serve. And the Cardinals will serve across. It's taken by Kelsey Tubner. Dilla Turner still set up Jessica Tubner. Her spike into the net. Boy, that's been a problem for the Bearcats tonight. Unforced errors. That's the 32nd. That compares to 25 for Langdon. <laughs> Two to nothing Cardinals. Dinius again to serve, taken by Heisler. They'll set up Tubner again. This time the spike blocked at the net. And they also are going to call, it looks like, Laternus into the net. It was a stop block, and they'll call Laternus to stop play. Emily Laternus a net violation to make it 3 to nothing Langdon. Remember, this game goes to just 15. The Bearcats desperately needed a point as the Cardinals serve again, and the spike it goes here for it. A spike left side by Holine and a lift is called on Lindy Johnson. Turn over 26, or unforced error number 26, excuse me, of the Cardinals. Three to one now, Bearcats down by two. Jessica Tubner, the serve across, that's long and out of bounds. A missed serve, we'll give a point back to the Cardinals, the lead here four to one. There's Abby Broughton now to serve for Langdon. Right, the deep serve, and that's all get out of bounds. Miss serves each way. Four to two, Bearcats do it in two, and serving now will be Ali Heisler. Heisler, a good serve across, taken by Denius, who bumps it almost wide and out of bounds, but now Downs will take it right back to her. A spike by Denius, saved by Heisler, and put back over by Hagler. As the Cardinals will set up Hart, as Mackenzie Hart, a tip shot is... Saved by Kelsey Tubner. They set up Kelsey now for a spike, which is dug out by Dinius and knocked back by Hardison for a kill. Julie Dinius, a great save, and it sets up Hart for the kill. That's her 21st. Five to two, Cardinals leading by three. Is Rachel Crum now to serve? And serves down the right side. Almost went wide to that, but it's saved by Tubner. And now a spike for, for uh, I should say, by Hagler. It's going to be long and out of bounds. Six to two, Cardinals. 
They shall come again to serve for Langdon. And a good serve to the back row, taken by Shervra from her knees, and that's going to be tipped back across by Kelsey Tugner. Cardinals now will set up Hart. She'll get a tip shot over left side, saved by Laternas. To Broughton now goes to the Cardinals. They'll set up Hart again for a running spike, and that's just in on the end line. 7 2 to Cardinals by 5, and a timeout by the Bearcats. We're tied up two games apiece in the District 8 Tournament Championship of the Austin. Awesome. more to your table with competitive credit and financial services products. More options, greater flexibility, competitive rates, local decision making, and personalized service. Good luck from Ag Country Farm Credit Services of Langdon. For more information, call Ag Country Farm Credit Services at 256 2553. Mackenzie Hart with a big save off the, or big spike, I should say, off the serve return here of the Bearcats. That'll go in, and it's 8-2 to two Cardinals here in Game 5 of this best of five match. We're tied at two games apiece. Rachel Crump continue to serve. It's been a nice run here for Langdon. Uh, the surgeon to the back row is taken in by Laternas. Now a spike attempt for Kelsey Tudor. It's off the block of Hart, and it'll go for a kill. Kelsey Tudor, a third kill of the match. Bearcats to within five now at 8-3. Again, this game five has just played to 15, not 25 like the other games have been. So lean now to serve. Only to serve, taken by Dinius to Downs, and they'll set up Hart in a tip shot by Hart over the block, is saved by Kelsey Tubner. Now they set up Hagler, who's like blocked to the net by Mackenzie Hart, who will get her sixth stuff block of the match. Yeah, and Hart now to serve with it, Langdon leading nine to three. As Hart with his serve, and that's in for an ace off the hands of Shibra. So Hart now with three aces as well in the match. And Langdon's five points away from winning this District 8 championship. Tournament championship, 10 to 3 the score. As a serve, almost knocked out of bounds. It is knocked out by Shibra, and it's another ace to make it 11 to 3. Hart continuing on serve here. Yeah, the service going to come to Tubner as they'll get it now to Hagler and Sarah will try a tip shot dug out by Broughton to Dinius. They'll set up Lindy Johnson and her spike into the net. She missed time to jump and that's going to go a point back for the Bearcats. They'll come to it in seven out, 11 to four. This Hagler now back to serve and a high server cross it is taken by Dinius to Downs and now to Dinius and a Dinius a spike and a kill off the block of Swanson. Four kills. For Julie Dinius and Langdon now leads 12 to 4. Here in game five. Again, we'll have the all-district team and after the conclusion of this game five, coming up on our post-game show here on KNDK. Lindy Johnson now get hard serve over, taken by Heisler. They'll set up left side Tubner and Tubner with a spike. Oh, a great dig by Johnson to dig it out. They set up Broughton and Broughton with a spike and a kill. The defense of Lindy Johnson saving that point. 13 to 4 Cardinals off the kill. So Lindy Johnson will serve now out the timeout. That's going to be taken by Kelsey Tubner. They'll set up Jessica Tubner. And her spike handled by Hart in the back row. Downs now sets up Broughton left side and a spike in for a kill. Abby Broughton with her 11th kill of the match and it's match point for the Cardinals as they lead her 14 to four. As Johnson with a serve over that's going to be uh, taken and handled by Kelsey Tubner. With a serve over taken by Crum. Left side, it's going to come to Broughton. Across the strike, in for the kill, and that's going to be it for the match. Great match tonight in the District 8 Championship with the Langdon Cardinals that defeat the North Star Bearcats for the District 8 Tournament title. Three games to two on the Osserbach Farmers Co-op Elevator scoreboard. They win game five, 15 to six. As the Cardinals, uh, Bearcats, I should say, won the first game, 25-18 tonight. Langdon won games two and three, 25-16 and 25-15. North Star won game four, 25-17. And Langdon winning in game five here, 15-6 to six was the uh, final. As the Cardinals now will uh, move on and play the uh, District 8 Championship. And they will play, uh, win the District 8 Championship, and they'll play in the Region 4 tourney. Uh, 6 o'clock on Monday, North Star will play at 4.30 on Monday. And again, you'll hear both those matches here on 
on KNDK 1080 and 957. Let's take a quick break to catch our breath, and we're going to come up and bring in our post-game show, the All-District Team for District 8, Senior Athlete of the Year for District 8, and Coach of the Year for District 8. We're going to do that, and we'll just take a quick one-minute timeout. We'll set up for that in one minute here on KNDK. Good luck to all area teams and Forest Line Service.
award is Mr. Kane Senior and Athlete of the Year Award, again chosen by the coaches. This year's winner from Langdon, Mackenzie Hart. Woo! In second place, 